Spell Force 3 is the first new fantasy RTS I've seen in a long while. The game is good, sure. Very good, in fact. I've had a lot of fun with it. But I wouldn't be talking about it if it didn't have necromancy. The game does indeed feature some kind of necromancy. Unfortunately, the necromancy in this game is not to my tastes, and if you're a fan of the Cheb Gonaz channel, possibly is also not to your tastes. Let's examine why. The game is an RTS RPG hybrid, especially during the campaign. There's parts where it plays very much like an RPG with characters, story, dialogue, decisions, items and equipment, leveling up and just everything you'd generally expect from an RPG. However, you will often find yourself doing missions where the game becomes an RTS and your character becomes a powerful hero unit in that RTS mission. It's nice and it's a lot of fun. It reminds me a bit of Warcraft 3. There is also a skirmish mode where the game plays like an RTS with heroes. I need to talk about the necromancy in two parts because the implementation is slightly different in campaign than in skirmish mode. First we'll talk about the campaign's necromancy. If your character is a mage, there is a dark magic tree you can invest skill points into. Investing points here gives you a life leech on auto attack, which is nice. There's a bunch of spells there with a black magic kind of theme to them, like Void Arrow, which damages and with sufficient points invested, also silences an enemy. Then there's others like Epidemic that lets out a fog that weakens the enemy, and many more spells. These are nice as fluff, but what I really care about is the minions, so let's examine those. In the Spellforce 3 campaign, you'll summon minions using the Call of the Forsaken ability. This summons a trio of undead corpses for you. These corpses are strong but slow. So slow that they're almost immobile. The minions are timed and will expire shortly. They don't require any resources to create aside from focus, which is your yellow energy bar used for abilities. Investing more points into the skill will cause them to explode on death. Now if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll have noticed a few problems already. I'm very picky when it comes to minions, and I have a set of criteria to measure whether or not minions are satisfying and fun. Now before I begin my criticisms, I'd like to preface this with the acknowledgement that this game is partially an RTS, and has you controlling many units at once. So for RTS mode, in a way, these faults can be somewhat forgiven. More on that later. However, this game is also an RPG, so these faults flare up and annoy me the most during the RPG missions where I don't have armies to command. Now, as far as I'm concerned, these minions do not do well in my golden rules of good and satisfying minion mechanics. First of all, minions should be plentiful. I do not feel like a powerful necromancer without a decent army of necrotic minions. Spellforce gives me three minions. Three is better than one, and with two necromancers in the party I can get six. This is not the worst, but also not the best. So for this category I'd say Spellforce scores a four out of ten. Secondly, minions should be permanent. Here's where things get really nasty for Spellforce. My necromancers can only maintain a hold over their minions for a very short time before they expire. I don't like this, and I'll never like this, especially in an RPG. What? Because Spellforce is also an RTS, the blow is lessened due to all the other troops under your command. Either way, I feel pretty cheated and not like a very powerful necromancer at all. I feel more like a necromancer apprentice or something. For this category, I give Spellforce a 1 out of 10. I'm simply not satisfied by this. Thirdly, minions should be useful. The summons are useful, but only in a very narrow way. As I said before, the minions are slow, so slow as to be basically immobile. They deal decent damage and explode on death, so are capable of tying an enemy down and either severely wounding or killing it. They are best used behind the enemies to flank them as you advance forward towards the front. They are also useful for throwing on archers that you can't deal with just being engaged with someone else. So okay, I admit, the minions are not failures. 
but they still do not please me, and here's why. What is the difference between this minion spell and a cloud of damaging acid fog? Not much. The fog stays mostly where you put it, damaging people within range of it, and serves as a kind of obstacle to the enemy. The minions are not fast enough to chase an enemy, and he can simply be walked away from. In terms of functionality, you could swap this minion spell out for a simple acid fog spell, and the practical effect would be no different. These are not proper minions. They're just not useful enough. 4 out of 10. Finally, in order for minions to be useful, the summoner should be weakened so that more power can be pumped into the minions. In Spellforce, your minions are a sideshow to your main character. Like I said, you could swap them out for Acid Fog and not know the difference. So Spellforce fails in this category too. 1 out of 10. This is not satisfying necromancy. It's a good game, but if you're interested in the game just because of the possibility of having some satisfying necromancy, then I'd advise you to look elsewhere. I like the game a lot as an RTS, but I do not like it as a necromancy game, so I cannot recommend it on that alone. Now earlier I mentioned that in the skirmish mode the necromancy is slightly different, a bit better. Of the generic heroes available for your faction in skirmish mode, a black magic user is also available. The black magic user has a similar skill tree to in the campaign, but it's missing a lot of the fluff spells. However, it's also gained a spell. You can summon a demon called a devourer that looks a bit like some kind of flesh golem. This thing is pretty badass, but it's also on a timer. I've gone ahead and decided to fight an easy AI here so I have the time to grind the hero to level 11 and unlock the devourer. It's rather funny because I could have killed the enemy at the beginning, but I backed off after taking half the map to go and grind my hero to level 11, and the easy AI came back with a vengeance and destroyed me, but not before I got the devourer out. In skirmish mode the trio of undead you summon are significantly better. You do not get the slow, immobile zombies, instead you get undead crushers, who are naked and bloody undead with a giant sword, and undead knights that are well armoured and carry maces. These undead are a lot more mobile and capable of chasing enemies down. This means the minions are no longer in the acid fog category, but they are still not very fun to play because they are on a timer. As far as RTS games are concerned, this type of gameplay is a bit more forgivable. I still hate that they are on a timer. So in conclusion, if you're starving for a new game with necromancy in it, and you're considering this game for, the, for that aspect alone, you might be disappointed. However, if you want a good RPG RCS hybrid, then this is a great game for sure. I was going to end the video there, but then I thought, Spellforce 3 really is a great game despite my disagreements on how the necromancy works. So how would I fix it? Well, at the moment there's only three factions. Humans, Orcs and Elves. Why not add in a necromancy themed faction with some lovely undead units? That'd be a fine idea. I could forgive these temporary timed summons if I had some actual proper undead troops as well. If that's not doable, then make the undead permanent but limited by supply and a bit weaker, and requiring corpses to animate. If they were only half or a quarter as strong as they are now, but I could have as many of them as I wanted, that'd be super cool. The corpse requirement would stop me from massing them endlessly, and the supply requirement would mean that I wouldn't be choosing these cheap troops over stronger regular ones towards the late game. I'd be much happier with this. In this way, the corpses of the enemy could bolster my forces.